Hey everybody, what's up with your girl, Nikki Ashes. Welcome to something new on the channel. Ah, uh, this is a speed build. Um, I'm gonna be building past me built this in like five one hour sessions. Um, and this is a speed build and we're watching it quickly. <coughs> and doing this in one take, which is very interesting and exciting. Um, usually sim YouTubers don't do a um, sped up speed build and have a face cam at the same time. And I don't know if the fast and slow at the same time are going to be jarring, but um, we're gonna try it out. And if it's terrible, we'll know. Um, but this is a speed build. Um, what are we making today? Well, this is um, a lot. It's another penthouse. It's in the arts district. Um, some of our ladies from Queens of Semi Shuna will be living here. I would love for it to be um, spoiler free, but um, we, I, I am going to talk about who lives here. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Okay, so when I was building this, the first thing that I wanted to do was have lots of um, balcony space, like decks and stuff, because. Ooh, because um, I love them. I don't know. So here I am on the top floor, it's only two stories tall, um, and I'm like trying to figure out where do the bathrooms go. I'm trying to not make big square rooms, which you will see I fail at in a second, but like two bedrooms can only fit upstairs in a little seating area and, and one little balcony. Um, the primary focus of this house though is like the, the point is the, the back patio terrace thing. Um, here you can see some bullshit. I didn't have move objects turned on. You might see me turn on move objects, the move objects cheat a billion times because I um, recorded this in multiple sessions. Um, but here we're trying to match bricks because a lot of people who do um, Sims builds on YouTube have instilled in me this idea that like if you're a penthouse, you don't want it to look crazily unmatched from the bottom part of the building. And so I'm trying to match the white and the bricks and took a long time to find the right kind of bricks and like, do I want to do this brick? And then I think, yep, then I find it. Wow, okay, so now that all the bricks match and the white matches and it's really good, okay. Um, anyway, so some of the girls, some of our queens are gonna live in this house. Um, I wanted it to kind of be an entertaining house. You'll see as I decorate the, the back kind of uh, outside area that um, I don't actually put a ton of things to do in this house. And I think that that's mostly because, like, in a Let's Play, if your Sims can do all the things at their house, like, they're not gonna wanna go to other places. And, like, going to other places is one of the best the best parts, the most fun things. So, I don't wanna have, like, a bubble blower and a card table and, like, all these things for the Sims to do because um, I want them to, like, go places and do stuff. You know what I mean? Here you can see something that irritates me to no end, which is these like trims, these little moldings that go on the outside. If there's stairs on the inside, see that little gap right there? If there's stairs on the inside that are touching the wall, it um it doesn't connect and I hate it. And you're gonna see how I fix it creatively in a minute, but let's talk about the roofs because um, they look great. So I try, I, I decide that I want at least one glass roof and then I decided that the asymmetricality of the angles and the size and the so I put a dark roof um, and it's really nice and the light comes in really well. Um, my game was being a little buggy recently and the ceiling wasn't loading well properly, but um, I don't know. You can see here I'm trying to match those windows and I firmly believe that A, they don't exist and B, those middle ones are like off a unit. And so I said, you know what? We're not gonna match the windows. We're gonna do these slatted windows instead. I'm putting lots of big, big windows because I love them and I think that every house should have big, big windows. You know what I mean? Lots of houses in Korea don't have lots of windows and like I feel like that's kind of the millennial dream. It's just a house with lots of sunlight. So, um, anyway. What are we doing now? Putting in, okay, so this is the first thing that I built since getting the Stars Born pack. What's it called? Star, making, making of star, get famous. Um, and so I wanted to use a lot of those items and doors and stuff that I had never seen before. I wanted to try new fun things. Um, and so the doors on the inside with the little star handles, we're using those. I think they're really cute. Here you can see, okay, and to cover all this up, we're gonna do something that I am renowned for, my plant boxes. Um, 
So we're putting, I didn't want to put too many palm trees because while in my head canon this all takes place, Sanmai Shuno is an uh, is a equation for Hong Kong. Um, I know that it was pr primarily mostly inspired by San Francisco, which is why the weather is pretty rainy. Um, so I didn't want to put too many palm trees, but I did want to do a little bit because this whole like Singapore, Hong Kong fantasy that I live all the time, I want it to be in here. You know, you know what I mean? Um, the bathrooms, that, this, they're gonna be kind of the same. My, I only kind of make one kind of bathroom. Like, in designing this house, because the women that live in this house are very fun individuals, I wanted to push myself and use more color than usual, even though you can see a lot of grays still going on. Um, if Nikki Ashes lived in this house, it would be neutral. Nooch the house down. But, because fun girls live here, I wanted to use colors. Um... But, what are we talking about colors for? Oh, bathrooms. I just have a way that I like to do bathrooms, and so all the bathrooms look the same. Plus, I like these like residential areas that kind of feel like, um, like this kind of gives like an older fashioned building. I don't want to say renovated warehouse, even though it was partly inspired by the Sim Supplies uh, one that he did here with all the bricks and stuff. Um, but, why are we talking about this? I like want to keep getting my hair out of my face. I have a show tonight, so I'm, um, you know, just in my little dressing kimono, drinking coffee. Uh, so I haven't glued down my wig yet because I have a little bit of time, and so I don't want to like. Anyway, this kitchen. I started out with a big island. Um, I love counters. I love doing stuff with them. I love making them cool. I want to do this, but the fact that there's no built-in stove that has no backboard. You know, like they could be seamlessly incorporated into the island is a travesty. And so I do end up moving it. Um, and another thing that I'm gonna try to work on, um, if all of you enjoy this video and, and are getting your life, uh, you know, to building, because I love building, I really love building. So if you like this, um, I could get into more speed builds. I would like to at least do a couple more for the new buildings coming up for season two of Let's Slay the Sims 4 Young Drag Queens in the City. Um, okay, wait, pause. What are we talking about? Okay, I didn't do it yet. I do something really cool at the front of the, the building and I just wanna talk about it when it happens. Um, so, what are we, what is that, what's happening? What are we talking about? Building, okay, something I'm gonna try to work on is building, when I build stuff, I go down to this menu down here, and as I just like see cool things that I like, or it's things that I want for different rooms, I just throw them in the rooms and then deal with it later. And so when you're watching this at eight times speed, there's a lot of jumping around, and I don't know if it's gonna like give anyone motion sickness from the fact that we're not like in a room doing a room. Um. But, so you will see kind of us jump around and like weird things like the laundry basket will just be kind of like sitting out there. So this living room upstairs is actually my favorite part of the house. And um, it, all of the colors are just based off this rug and this couch. I just picked a couch and I said, you know what? These are fun colors. We're gonna make this whole living room these colors. And um, it ends up really cool. I've sized down this coffee table cause like, gosh, I feel like there's so many, there are so many tables, but never exactly the one that you want. So we did that. I put a drink tray, see, and I threw the, the lemonade tray outside because I'm like, I know that I'm gonna need to do it later and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find it. The drink trays, I can't ever find. I usually have to search for them. Um, and you know that I love the drink trays. So now we're throwing plants around because you know plants are really important in my mind to um, a good home space. I always have plants. I have two plants right now, they're outside because it's been um, dark and cloudy and um, they're kind of, one of them is a some kind of palm, one of those kinds. And then um, the other one is a little dracaena and she doesn't like to be in the dimness. So I'm putting her outside and seeing if she'll just shut up about it. Um, that little corner with the mirror, not here, no, well, whatever, putting plants, lots of plants. That, that, oh, and I love these, the little trio that was in the um, Jungle Adventure pack. Oh my God. Um, that little corner in the top, we're never gonna be able to see it. With the mirror and the two plants by the window with the, the plant box outside, the big birch tree, right over there, right over, you see what I'm saying. 
It's stunning. And like I built this whole house as like the lights coming in in the morning and the, the sunsets coming in the big windows, coming in the, the ceiling windows. What are those called? The glass roof? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, this ottoman, I just am like trying to... Okay, so here's another thing that I'm really trying to work on now that I'm like getting good at building. Um, and I guess I'll talk about it more later when we get back to the dining room, but I didn't realize that we weren't going to do that right now. Um, and these peach lights that I loved, and I decided the peach lights, okay, and the track lights because... Um, it's like a renov- it's a little bit industrial, it's kind of a renovated warehouse type of- without being, you know, whatever. So at the track lights and, um, I use the lighting to kind of denote that, and the metal stairs to kind of denote the, um, the building's history. Um, like these ones, which I think that I love and use a lot, and anyway, lots of mirrors. Mirrors are important. I love to have mirrors when I decorate a real space because, um, you can use them to maximize light or to make small areas feel wider. And like, I'm so good at mirrors. I feel like interior direct decorating is kind of my superpower that, you know, I'm trying to like come into in my age. I love moving to a new house and decorating it is fabulous. Um, this space above the stairs, I spend forever trying to find some kind of art to put there that's not going to look stupid because it's like, you know, you go down the stairs and it's what you look at as you go down the stairs. Um, but instead of doing that, I decide to put pipes everywhere. Ooh, and this. Okay, so because these stairs, there's no real ledge over there. Um, I wanted the stairs to feel a little safer. So I put these things, you know, that everyone loves to use. I put these things here and I'm like, okay, cool. So now the stairs and you can still see through it. And, um, but what can we do to make it better? Well, the answer to that is always more plants. Uh, so I guess we're going to do that later. Truly, I do need to try and um, do this one room at a time. But, you know, it's my art. Don't try to limit my art. Okay, can we talk about these curtains? I love these curtains. I just did another build last night and I should have recorded it because it ended up looking stunning and I thought it was just going to be like a whatever. And it ended up amazing. And it's the Merlion got a remix, a remix, a renovation. Um, and I put those curtains there, but like putting curtains, I love to have curtains on after I discovered them making our first custom penthouse that we did. See, look, plants putting an Ivy. You know, I love an Ivy moment, huh? Uh, making sure that it's the double sided Ivy because some of the Ivies don't be visible from behind. And so that would look crazy. So, <laughs> um, what had I been talking about? I get so excited about plants. I'm such a plant dad. Like, I'm a plant dad. Um, who knows? Uh, it'll come back up when we zip back into the house. <laughs> um, this outside area I'm so obsessed with. I love, and I put a little bit of the algae on the ground so it looks like it's growing. It's very cute. Um, now I'm trying to kind of like, I have these things and I don't know what to do with them. And so what I end up doing is I pick these dark wood ones and then I set them in the corners kind of to like um, create a feng shui moment. There's like roundness, roundness and like flow is our, our elements of feng shui that are really important. Um, and so not having like so many square edges and rounding them out and stuff is quiche. And you know what else is this island. I found out that you can put the chairs on the rounded part of the island. And so now we have the stove is by the window, which I do kind of hate, but um, at least the backboard doesn't look so stupid. And then the island with the chairs on the diagonals, it's so cute. I love it. Wow, and a box of cereal. Why not? Okay, spoiler number one, that's a cat feeder because Honey's gonna live here um, for the time being. Everyone's living where they're living and then there's gonna be, I think, a lot of moving and maybe not murder specifically, but dying. Um, okay, this is another part of the house that I'm so proud of. So I moved the elevator so that now we have a little entry room plus Sims who come to visit you will come out of the elevator and then be there. And so unless they have a door to knock on, they'll just be in your house. Very Brent hecking. Um, and so I really want to make the, the downstairs open. And so what I do is see how these doors are too tall and make them black. The doors are now too tall. See how they're sticking out of the top? Because I didn't want it to be super high ceilings because I always do that. So what I did was put these windows there and it look, they overlap, but it looks like just a little like 
boxing detail at the bottom. It's really cute. And then I put black on the outside and its own little roof, like it's a little kind of like extension that was added on later. Very um, inspired by Devin Bumpkin's dream home <coughs> that he's been making. Um, Devin Bumpkin, dream home. He has like a kitchen that kind of is, has that aesthetic and I thought it was really cute. So shout outs to my boy Devin. Okay, so now this DJ booth is here and the this whole area is just open. You can just walk through it, which is absolutely great because entertaining and all the stuff. So I wanted an outside inside kind of flow kind of space because when you watch like um, interior design shows and stuff, like that's that's a thing that people love doing is having like, like rich people in their big, big houses, like the pool, but then you can walk straight into the living room, into the open plan kitchen and it's all just open. Um, and I love it and I'm so happy that it turned out that way. Um, the DJ booth is there because Candy Bear lives in this house and you know that she is a baby drag queen, baby hyper queen, DJ realness. And so she's gonna DJ the parties that they have and it's gonna be great. And so in the place where the elevator used to be, I make another plant box because I love a plant box. Um, I honestly do. I'm all over Raffles Boulevard. Um, Altitude 301 has one. I love a plant box. I love them. Plus it gives kind of like a, what is it called? Like a foliage consistency across the entire city because all of the plants in the plant boxes are kind of tropical and I use all the same ones. And here you can see I'm trying to use these colored flowers, and I just take them out because I hate them. And the white flowers are the way. And so I have a signature style, and that is the Nikki Ashes plant box, and I'm into it. Whatever. Okay, I think we're doing the backyard now. Um, I love that big umbrella, but I hate the where the, the stand goes, the little leg, the little foot. I hate how those be in proportion to each other, and I hate it. Um, so I think we get rid of it. Okay, and now the balcony that's off the kitchen, I don't really have a good concept for it, but I'm like, at this time. And then I'm like, well, I love candles. What if it's like a little romantic? And so it, we just throw a million billion candles on this balcony, it's really cute. And I love it. A big ones, big ones, small ones. I'm trying to hide those little cube ones because I don't like that they're, I'm trying to have it look hodgepodge. And so the fact that there's three in a row, like doesn't really work and, I put some of these. I don't really know their history or origins, but I love them. Oh my gosh, the coffee is speaking to me. There were so many like cool items that I discovered and I don't know if they were added. I also got the bowling pack. Not that I will ever go bowling because I feel similarly to bowling, but less than as I do about karaoke, which is just, I don't like it. I'm not gonna do it. Here you can see me struggling with curtains again. Uh, a a well-placed curtain is so crush, but like curtains will fight you tooth and nail until the end of time. Okay, we're putting in some of these like um, reinforced door things over people's doors. Not on the inside, on the outside, yeah. Cause it's kind of cool and it like, you know, extra support beams, it's very, I don't know, it's the vibe. Um this shelf unit that I love right there, but I thought it was dumb sticking onto the window, so we just delete it. I don't know. A great thing about building is that all of the ideas that you can't, ooh, that you can't get into um, one build, you can totally use them in your next one, you know? So, um, all right, let's do this backyard. So, merging some of these tables together, these tables that you know that I love with the fire and the, and they glow kind of nicely, it's really nice. And then, just like the upstairs, uh, I'm picking all of the outside furniture based on that little corner couch with the purple and the yellow. So I'm like, cool, we're gonna have a whole sunset themed backyard and it's gonna be fierce because I, other than my plant boxes, you know that I'm a professional at exterior comfort, exterior, exterior seating areas, I don't know. Oh, this little corner is really cute here where I put the, okay, getting some candles, whatever. There's a candle with a flower that's a cute new item that I didn't know about. Um, and I think I put a little succulent there. I don't know, this little corner is so cute. I love it. Um, I want it also because this is the arts district and um, our fun girls live here is that I wanted um, a lot of the kind of like the laundry day packs, the kind of boho vibe, whatever. Um, so colorful plant pots and like these little, fairy lights 
so cute and it has kind of like a girly kind of aesthetic that's cute and I love it. And then you know that I love those, the candles and the, and the little polygons, those, I love those. Um, put those everywhere. Still trying to figure out candles, putting candles here. Okay, teal. There's a lot of teal in my life these days. Rex and Mithra. So everyone's gotten a makeover, which I'm very excited about. If you haven't been watching my Instagram stories, I've shown everybody looking like perfection. All of our friends, all of our characters. Um, but I've been like a lot of blue clothes, a lot of blue hair. Like the teal, the turquoise fantasy is endless. Putting little lights in the plant boxes because it's nice to have them kind of like subtly illuminated. It, it gives a an extensive energy that I like. Um, I don't know, an attention to detail. Like in the Sims universe, you'd be like, wow, the people who built this house um, did a great job and you know, whatever. So another thing that I had a lot of fun making in this build or working with in this build is fun new rugs that I had never seen and tried before. This sunset rug that's so perfect. Ooh. Like is it a little heavy handed with the everything is kind of in the color palette? Yes, but um, it's gorgeous and I love it and whatever. Putting plants, putting little, is this where we put the, ooh, okay, so these, these little kind of lights, trying to find a place to put them because they're very cute and very like, we are entertaining in our trendy, in our trendy house. And then I try to put some down here and try to find a place and oh, 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 yes, it fits right there. Perfect, fits perfectly, so cute, moving on. <laughs> Okay, checking the lighting. <clears throat> I also didn't want this house to be huge. I think that smaller spaces are nice in The Sims because, um, and again, this house is still actually huge. Like, if you had 10 whole people here, you'd only ever see like two of them together at a time. But, um, cause then our big house, whenever we entertained and like everyone was so far apart and it was shitty and stupid, so. I'm trying to keep um, the spaces a little bit smaller, but this backyard's backyard back patio is obviously huge and meant for entertaining. And look, I make a little honey. It barely looks like honey, but I have a little honey. It's very cute. And two little um, shoe racks because lots of women live in this house. Two drag queens. Oh, spoiler alert. The other person that lives in this house is Vanessica. So Vanessica, Candy Bear, and Mithra will be living in this house. Um, and then it's gonna be so good and so fun and so cute. So this is gonna be Candy Bear's room. And I was, I literally, like, I cared about it the least when I was building it because while I love Candy fucking Bear, but like, I don't know what her personality is gonna be like because everyone kind of has like little storylines that I've kind of like charged up and gotten ready. Um, so I don't, I don't really know. So you're gonna see me kind of like pick at Candy Bear's room for a while and then not be into it and come back to it and whatever. So this room, this long hallway room that I felt so bad about because it kept getting smaller and smaller as I wanted to make the like DJing party space um, really nice. So it kept, it turned into this long narrow room. And so when I put this TV on the wall, I was like, ooh, this is gonna be uh, like a tiny house. So all of my like tiny house senses started tingling. And so, um, and just putting a TV on the wall did that for me. But like, so we have a long weird room a shotgun room. That's what I've heard them be called. Like a shotgun apartment. Like the long skinny ones. Um, this is gonna be Mithra's room. So I did feel bad like, oh well. I didn't want to put Candy Bear down here because it would have been... I would have felt bad because obviously she's been kind of like a... Like a B character. And so if we like shoved her in this hallway on the first floor while the other two girls were upstairs, I would have felt bad. Um, so getting the flow through it kind of as zigzaggy squishy flow through it is um essential almost as essential as these blinds i'm about to put on here because i test and it goes too fast in the speed in the fast the speed strats that you can't see but those like slatted blinds like the light comes in slattedly and the, the like see how it's see the window it's like that but thinner and so it's gorgeous when the morning light comes in through them although no light gets to that window i later discovered so the effect is useless but Maybe in the next one that we do, we can have it and then have the morning light come in and it's very cute. The lighting engine 
makes building so good in The Sims. It, uh, fantasy, fantasy. You will see in the screenshots later, like, it's, just, it's a gorgeous house. It's so gorgeous, I love it. Um, what are we doing now? Putting ort places, some ort. I decided to keep this, those kind of like, tealy purpley colors, so that the whole upstairs wasn't too matchy-matchy. Um, here you can see Mithra's got a little study desk. This is going back to me talking about the, kind of the flow. So like, the bookshelf on one wall, and then a little bit down from that, the desk. And I put a little backpack on the ground so that the edge of the desk isn't too harsh and it's rounded, feng shui energy. Um, fun rugs now, but this time mixed with a dance floor. And I don't know if it'll work underneath the rug, but I hope it does because I want people to just kind of like, and that like they're askance. The rugs are askance. It's very good. Entertaining here is going to be so fun. Okay, and now it's planting, planting deck. Um, this is where Vanessa's going to do her gardening because if you remember, I said a million years ago she's going to get into gardening and it's like spring season in The Sims right now. So it's a perfect time for her to start flower arranging. Oh, shit. Metal straw. Metal straws are the tea. Speaking of the tea, this green screen, you can't see it. I'm touching it. I'm touching something right now. I got a green screen for this. Do you like it? Is it weird that I'm floating in digital space? I always think that it's kind of cute to, um, to have kind of a background, like a real world background behind me because I'm such a fantasy that it really grounds the experience. Um, let's get into these girls' rooms. Uh, this is Vanessa's room. So remember that she's a stylist now. She's a fashionista. So she's got like makeover stations in her room so she can like give makeovers to everyone. It's gonna be very cute. Um, so Candy Bear, if you recall, is a baby drag queen. I'm gonna just talk about Candy Bear as I... This bathroom is gonna look the same as the mall. I like that the you can see out the back of the shower out the window, but um, it's not interesting or specific or any what I, I'm gonna put shelves and there's a backlit mirror and it's dark gray like we've seen this bathroom a trillion times it's gonna be downstairs too the same um candy bear Vanessa's candy bears drag mom right because Vanessa got candy bear into drag the first the first time and um so candy bear as a baby drag queen I I wanted her to have kind of like the weird so Vanessa as a as a real life person in the real world um her like aesthetic has is changing like we all grow and we all change a little bit and we all be into different things and it's been a little bit less lisa frank and a little bit more refined not a read vanessa i'm sorry it's i'm not i love you it's just more refined now and so i wanted all of the like gaudy furniture in candy bear's room to be like vanessa's hand-me-downs so okay this bathroom is cute I got the rug and the toilet to match. There's like a brown, I don't know. That bathroom is cute. Cuter than the upstairs bathroom. Anyway, and the screenshots at sunset in this bathroom, the screenshots at the end of this are gonna be lit beyond, you don't even know. Okay, this new little light fixture that you can see me throwing everywhere, I just found it and I'm obsessed with it and I love it. Inside, outside, over doors, don't care. Um, candy bear. So this is Vanessa's room. I absolutely cannot stand that somehow we are so many years into this game and we still don't have like a, like an alarm clock to put on an end table, unless there is one and I just missed it, but I looked for a clock to put on the end table. They're all wall clocks. They're like weird clocks. I don't know. I just want a regular little one. Anyway, so I thought about putting a lot of mirrors in Vanessa's room and then I realized instead of that, um, the room that we made in our first penthouse that we built together well, I built it, but she, we had discussed how she wanted her room to be. And um, the Pinterest images she sent me were of all of the cute, like pink pastel paintings on the wall. And do you remember we did that? So I wanted to do that again in here. And it's it turned out very cute against the gray brick. It's really nice. Um, <clears throat> all right, Vanessa's nightstand is cute because you can see here I'm trying to put fan mail because a lot of people like Vanessa. Like her drag is an inspiration. And so I wanted her to have fan mail. And so, but I took it off because it looked messy and stupid. And anyway, Vanessa, you'll have fan mail someday. This is Vanessa's balcony. Okay, and this balcony is lit. I call it the morning balcony 
or the reading balcony because I um, the light, you know, in the morning and the, the sunset comes on to it very cutely. Um, and so I really want it to be like a cute little, like you can take your coffee up here in the morning, like you just wake up and you're gonna just sit outside and feel the cool uh, morning air, a little breeze, whatever. We live on the top of a building. The breeze is probably excellent. Um, and so I have it kind of set up like this and you can see I want Vanessa got to spend time here. So I'm like, how can I get that sim to come out onto this balcony? So I try to put like a yoga thing, but I love the chairs the way they are. And so I changed one of the chairs to a massage chair and then put that little meditation thing there. But there's a lot of um, overlapping of the items. So I don't know if Vanessa's sim will actually be able to use them, but we're gonna see. And if we're not, we're gonna just figure it out. But like, it's very cute. And I like the morning balcony is a highlight for sure. And it's under the glass roof. And so there's like, protection from the rain and also the sun comes in and it's really nice. <coughs> Just throwing cat toys everywhere, sure. Cat bed, cat cat stuff is in Mithra's room because if you remember, they're best friends. Honey and Mithra, best friends. So I put the cat stuff in there um, and now we're gonna, I guess, move over to Candy Bear's room and still like um, uh, figure out what we're gonna do with it. Cause like, I don't usually gravitate towards colorful things but Candy Bear is such a fun person that I wanted colorful things in here. And as a baby drag queen, you know, whatever. So she's got like a couple elements, like that big bed, clearly a hand-me-down from Vanessica. Well, Vanessica now has like a, like a, a dusty rose colored bed or something. So, and hello, the leopard print rug. Leopard print is Vanessica's middle name. In case you didn't know that. Her ID says Vanessica leopard print carver. <clears throat> This is a great example of why I edit my videos. <laughs> this one take fantasy is not a fantasy. Um, but is my wig sliding back? Hello, goodbye. Um, Candy Bear. So I put a, a music thing in here because you know that everybody loves to go into each other's bedrooms and dance. And so I thought that Candy Bear would have one of those at least because she's, um, you know, a DJ and a drag queen. And I decided she's a Hatsune Miku fan and that she likes like Kill Bill anime gory video movies. I don't know, whatever. Um, and then I put a box, a bunch of presents right here because I think that Candy Bear's the kind of person that like would always just kind of have presents for her friends, you know? Um, she's kind of a sweet girl. She's great. I'm excited to have her um, be more in the thick of things. I'm trying to give her an accent wall and um, instead, I don't, because I don't want her and Vanessa, I want it to look like, oh, you're my drag mom, and I look up to you, but not, I'm trying to copy you. So I gave Vanessa the pink accent wall, and then for Candy Bear, ultimately, I just take it all off. But, y'all, I think it's almost time for the screenshots. All right, well, and here we go. Here are the screenshots. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching Candy Bear. I hope you've enjoyed watching this. Um, make sure that you like this video, share it with a friend, subscribe, smash my buttons. I love you forever. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you have a fabulous day. So, colorful plant pots and like these little fairy lights. So cute and it has a kind of <laughs> <laughs>